Let's take a new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is a kind of coupling modeling. Now you will see all dimensions in millimeter. Uh, thread are M 2.5 into 4.5. All corner fillets are 0.1 mm. You scale this one and uh, you will see the raw material AI SI 316 SS. Density 78 kg per cubic meter. Okay, let's do this. Now here we have one front view and there is a two section view, section AA. We just divide this one and you will get this section, section AA. Similarly, section BB. This is section B and uh, you will see all the details here, thread and everything. Okay. First, I am going to extrude this body, outer diameter 19, inner diameter 9. Okay. And the length, how much you will see here, 24.5. Okay. Then, once we extrude, this is top view, so you will see this is the upper side of top view. So there is a 7.27, see, there is a one gap, you will see here, this gap, how much, 0 0.93. And uh, this is not from the end, there is a still distance, see, 1 mm. From center, if you count, 0.5, okay, we... Uh, detail C. See, this is uh, detail C. You will observe here the gap between this 1 mm and half is 0.5. Okay, so we will make this cutout now. First, cut out this one. Okay, then you can uh, the same cut out at the gap of 3.75, then the same cut out from this cut out to here gap is 8.47. Let's see these all cutouts front plane sketch now activate circle and draw a circle from origin point click on origin and drag your mouse right click choose select and out activate smart dimension click and define radius diameter 19 millimeter see now I'm not going to define internal one just go to feature and select extruded boss base. Now I want to make it reverse, so choose reverse and condition blind 24.5. But I'm going to use thin feature. Now 19 minus 8 is going to 11. 11 millimeter is the total difference between these. If divide by 2 is wall thickness, so 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. Eleven divided by two, five point five. You will see, but the material moving outside. So here, select this air inside. Look, say okay. Just check inside. Click, and you will see at bottom here, diameter eight millimeter. Fine. Okay. Now I want to make those cut out here. So for that, I am going to use right plane sketch. Activate here corner rectangle not corner i'm going to choose here center rectangle because distance given from center select this outer one a smart dimension now this gap 0 0.93 okay and the gaps distance from center of this rectangle to outside 7.27 mm is still not fully defined so let me select the center point, hold shift key, origin point and make constraint horizontal. Look, it seems fully defined. Extruded cut. Make it reverse. Now here choose through all. But there is a catch. We need to keep some gap here. So I am going to choose start condition offset 0.5. One side 0.5, other side 0.5 while we are going to do mirror. Say OK. Let me select here mirror. Plane. Right plane. And here feature to mirror. So select this one directly. You will see the preview. Say OK. And see. See the gap between these two, you will see at bottom normal distance 1 mm, 
just select these two edge okay now let's activate temporary axis drop down this i menu and here choose view temporary axis now let's make one mirror linear pattern now axis direction i'm going to directly choose this axis now distance 3.72 and two number of patterns now feature we have to select one two you will see the preview this is moving this side okay that's fine okay we did these two now let's come this end for this end let's see from here see this is the back side of this this side is the actually back side of this one front side so from back side also the same thing 7.27 but this is at different plane this is going to right plane this is going to top plane okay and uh, the same thing 7.27 3.72 the gap between these two you will see all 0.9 and the space every everything we already observe here 1 and 0.5 so let's do this top plane is sketch center rectangle move only up to outer edge you will see there is a coincident relation if not then you have to make coincident relation with this 0.93 center to outer edge 7.27 mm look it seems fully defined extruded cut let me check isometric view okay this is moving down start condition i am going to choose offset because we need to maintain 1 mm gap 0.5 look okay i am going to change direction okay let's cut upper side and the gap 0.5 maintain here say okay similarly i am going to choose top plane select mirror feature and feature to mirrors to cho choose this one you will see here the preview say okay now that's it now let's use linear pattern direction for direction i am going to choose this axis 3.722 mm now i am going to select go to feature select these two but look this is moving opposite direction so change here from now look okay see now for this now look there is one more cut out from here to here 8.46 similarly for this 8.46 linear pattern now direction this axis 8.46 two number of patterns feature reverse and you will see the preview just check uh, yeah. see this is going to move up to here say okay similarly we have to move this second one uh, this is the first cut out S linear pattern axis feature i am going to choose this first one 1 2 distance 4.2 let me check here preview a uh, view okay look from here to here this is going to move 8.46 that's perfect say okay oh that's it this is what uh, we need to achieve now we need to do some more things 
let's say uh, we will add this fillet see there are fillet point 0.1 all fillet point 0.1 and uh, you will see these ribs have fillet all ribs point 0.5 then we will make this hole first let's make a now activate fillet fillet type constant type and here 0 0.5 and I am going to select this top edges there are too many edges so it might be select something wrong so that's why I am going to select one by one I am not going to choose internal one Now we finished all. Okay. Fill it. And the most important one 0 0.1 mm. And let's select this edge. And here choose right feature 75 edges. Not all. Now by default it took say okay. Now, for time being, let me hide. Okay, temporary access, we need it. Now, let's make this section BB, let's make this hole. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, in section BB, you will see 3.5 and 3.5 mm hole. And uh, uh, we need, this is a hole for this thread. Okay. Just, uh, it shows the section view from inside you will observe 90 degree bit, uh, the gap between these two, angle between these two holes and uh, this thread is m 2.5 into 4.5 and there is a chamfer also this chamfer how much two okay one into 45 degree that's it so right plane sketch activate circle and draw a circle at center smart dimension from outside it's 3.5 and even diameter also 3.5 now it is at center that's why it looks fully defined extruded cut reverse and keep end condition through all okay chamfer here angle distance ang distance 1 mm angle 45 degree and i am going to choose outer edge say okay see let's go to hole wizard and activate thread i want to cut a thread so first i have to choose thread uh, cylinder edge i am going to choose internal one okay not outside I am going to choose internal one now thread going to start from which face so this is circular so I am going to choose here right plane now you will see the preview okay that's the perfect thing now let's make the thread length make sure this is out of this body now I want to cut thread I want to remove material so I am going to choose here metric die now this is the size 2.5 into 45 0.45 actually 0.45 not 4.5 it is an error now we need to remove material so we need to cut but if you see clearly let's say this view See, this is not going to remove material because material is outside. So for a thread, we need to remove some material. So here I'm going to choose mirror profile. 
now look this is going to mirror and this is going to cut mat remove material from inside one more uh, thing come down left right side now here at end trim with start face look this internal face is start face so select trim with start face just see look this is trim now thread going to start from this face this is the this is what how we use this uh, trim with start face now trim with end face you will see this end face there is a extra material trim look this is trimmed okay that's it see choose here circular pattern now for direction i'm going to choose this one axis 90 degree two number of patterns feature hole chamfer thread see this all and make sure you selected geometry pattern because there is a, some complications are here now look the preview see we selected equal spacing 90 degree say okay see now the gap between these two 17.5 here also now again i am going to choose linear pattern now for direction i am going to choose this axis now here distance 17.5 two number of and here i am going to choose okay circular pattern the last option but this is moving wrong direction so just change arrow reverse say okay now let me hide temporary axis right click and we need to add edit material plain carbon steel or not plain carbon steel aisi 313 stainless steel okay let's do this density is higher so i am going to choose plain carbon steel 78 kg per cubic meter apply close see right plane section view normal see don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching